Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. Latest news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. A girl named Haley. Funny enough, because the last super chat was from my name Haley. But she's a TikTok star. Her name is Haley Bailey. I've never heard of her personally, but she's a big TikTok influencer. And so um, the theme was gardens, something about gardens, child, Alice in Wonderland garden. I don't know, some type of garden theme. So she decided to dress like Marie Antoinette and basically say, let them eat cake. And when I tell you TikTok, white TikTok, black TikTok, they came together to drag not only her, but the celebrities there is starting to be a push and a backlash on influencers and celebrities who are just tone deaf to what's going on in the real world. And I'm here for this backlash. So we're gonna go ahead and play the video here. Let me share, I'm gonna mute so it doesn't echo. People are upset with Haley Bailey because she posted this video. So TikToker Haley Bailey just went to the Met Gala, and while she was at the Met Gala, she decided to make a TikTok with a very interesting sound. You see, while at the Met Gala, she posted a video with a sound that said, Let them eat cake. For those that don't know, Let them eat cake is a saying supposedly made famous by Marie Antoinette. The story goes that Marie was told that her starving subjects have no food, and her response was, quote, Let them eat cake. Essentially, it shows how out of touch Marie was due to her being both royal and rich. Now, due to that context, people feel that what Haley Bailey did was not only extremely out of touch, but some people are even going as far to call it sinister for her to use that audio. A lot of people are also saying that her deciding to use that audio in times like these, you know, times where people in America can't afford food, and people in other countries are not only getting eliminated, but they have absolutely no access to food in the country that they're in. Now, because of all that, people feel that someone like Haley Bailey, who is both rich and famous, should not be using audios that essentially flaunts that wealth in all of our faces. So right now, this is a big movement. And shout out to, let me see, it was, a, it was a, um, one of my Instagrammers who gave me the tea on this. I didn't know this was going on. Um, let me see. I can find out who was telling me about it. Yeah, I can't find their name, but they're the ones who first told me about it. So thank you so much. They're like, can you please research this? Can you talk about this more? So we're going to talk about this now. So right now on TikTok and on social media, they want everyone to start blocking celebrities. And it is working. Celebrities are losing their following. Um, it's a movement that's picking up right now. So we're just going to watch some of these videos where people are saying, you know, to block them and let them know like we're not going to accept this anymore with them just being you know playing dumb so these are like some of the celebrities here i don't want to play the music so as you can see that's the list here of the celebs so people are going and they're blocking all of these people i mean the list just keeps going and going music so here they're saying that it's working kim kardashian lost three million followers in one day so they're showing before and afters look at the first comment it's not happening fast enough for me <laughs> so they're i mean they are going in because people are really upset there's a lot that's going on in this world y'all know we talk about this all the time on this channel you know everything from you know jobs being lost ai you know the price of groceries um, you know how people are being charged for every little thing nowadays on social media from these platforms. And then on top of that, you have the things that's going on right now with Israel and Gaza. And I believe the area now they're, they're bombing is Rafa, if I'm not, I hope I'm not mistaken. So 
um, they've literally told the Palestinians, go here to this safe space, we're gonna bomb over here. Then the Palestinians, they'll go here to this alleged safe, safe space, and then that gets bombed. The hospital, the schools, and everything else. So they've literally been playing whack-a-mole with these people. And so now they've told these folks to leave Rafa, and Rafa is where a lot of like the Palestinian refugees are right now. It's like near like the beach. There's not a lot left. And they're telling them now, now y'all need to leave Rafa. And everybody's like, where, where are they supposed to go? You guys are literally about to make it where they can no longer get food and aid into that area. That's like the last remaining area where they can get anything into the strip. And they've been bombing it. So a lot of people are, I mean, the videos are very, very disturbing. You guys know I did my deep dive on the whole Palestinian-Israeli conflict a few months ago when everything first happened in October, you know, kind of breaking that down. So it's gotten even worse. Like we're now in May and so many people, so many babies. So they're really feeling like this is not cool. Um, so they're going and they're putting, you know, they're they're taking the, they're unfollowing people. Um, let's see here. And this is the girl, this is the TikToker. She had 10 million followers. She's down to 9 million. So they're going, it's called Block Out 2024. Um, let's see what he has to say. We're doing the celebrity block trend where we're just straight up blocking these out of touch with reality celebrities. I commend you because listen, if there's anything that I'm good at, it's being a professional hater. So if you're telling me that the move is to block celebrities who can afford $75,000 a ticket to the Met Gala while the rest of us are out here trying to keep our heads above water, I'm all for it. Let's take down District 1. You have my vote. I do have one question though. Why is it that we can't take this same energy and put it towards people like politicians or green? CEOs? Why is it that the only time that people can band together is when it's trendy to do so on TikTok? Like this whole celebrity blockout thing is a wonderful idea. Stop giving them views and attention and their revenue streams will go down. It's a brilliant idea. But what about the ding-dongs in Washington who pass bills in the middle of the night that only benefit their geriatric dinosaur wallets? Could we not all get together and do something even crazier like, I don't know, maybe refuse to pay taxes or maybe we pick a month where nobody spends a single dollar on a mega corporation who rakes in billions of dollars a year, but their own employees can't even afford rent. I just wish we took this same energy that we have on TikTok to block celebrities or annoying influencers, but not the people who have actual impact on our day-to-day -day lives. Think about it. There was a girl on this app, Hope, I believe her name was, who made an insensitive comment about not wanting to date a guy simply because he was a guy that worked at a pizza place. And the entire internet came for this woman like a storm. Not saying she didn't deserve it, but what I am saying is when our political leaders say something stupid or when these greedy CEOs do something stupid or say something stupid we really don't do anything about it except talk about it so look I'm all for this celebrity block trend let's make us regular folks the celebrities okay let's block them and give us some of that money so that we can better our lives but at the same time let's start coming up with some actions to band together and to block the people who have actual influence on our lives the people who have been doing a piss poor job at it because I'll tell you what if I have to continue paying four dollars for a single hash brown at mcdonald's i'm gonna start swinging to the people of this app who are doing the celebrity block trend where he snapped he ate and left no crumbs at all i agree with him 100 percent. remember i was ranting about mcdonald's the other day and everybody was like t there is no dollar menu i was like well shit shit me i didn't know because i don't eat mcdonald's like that i was shocked eight dollars i got a small fry and a mcflurry so yeah, no, I definitely agree. But yeah, this um, trend is a big deal. Um, it's happening everywhere. Let's see. Uh, block out, let's see. Let's see what the black folks are saying. These celebrities are gonna be scrambling. They're gonna be trying to clean shit up. They're gonna be trying to speak on stuff. It's too late for all that because y'all done had all this time, all of this time when this genocide has been being committed, y'all was not saying nothing. Sorry, I had to book through my nose. Oh. <laughs> Is it still there? Okay. Y'all was not saying nothing. Y'all didn't have nothing to say except for pushing products in our face and selling us y'all stuff. So now that people are saying, you know what? If you're not going to speak up on the shit that actually matters, if you're not going to use your platform to bring attention to these issues, all these people are dying. If you're going to be so arrogant and so 
tone deaf and so oblivious and so delulu that you can really sit up here and act like these things are not going on and just turn a blind eye to it we're withdrawing our attention we live in an attention economy and i'm so glad that everybody's waking up to that and understanding the power that we actually have because like they say on these apps that's free what's really being sold is our attention that's what's really making all this money for all these people so i love to see that we're shutting it down because celebrity culture really hasn't done nothing for us but distract us from the things that we really need to be focused on and they need to get out pack it up block pack it up you blocked pack it up pack it up your services are no longer needed because y'all not doing nothing for nobody so these celebrities are going to be scrambling she ain't she ain't left no crumbs so that is what's going on right now and you know they said lizzo's already tired the first comment says <laughs> Well, the third comment says, Lizzo already tired. They said uh, Lizzo was out here crying, talking about, you know, don't unfollow me or something. Let's, let's look up Lizzo. See what comes up. Blocking celebrities. Let's see. I don't know if she wrote something or said something. Missed the old Lizzo. Block party Lizzo edition. Lizzo post about, okay, let's see. So I blocked Lizzo a couple days ago, so I didn't actually see this on her page, but apparently she has made a video acknowledging Operation Olive Branch and talking about one of the families on there, which is really amazing. And obviously we want to take this win, um, but for all of the celebrities that are obviously going to start joining in on this because they're afraid that we're blocking them. I'm going to need you guys to make your videos starting by paying off like a whole family, you know, like show the family, pay them like pretty much the whole thing and then show another family and say, you know, let's work on this family now because like, what are we doing here? Like ignoring that you have way too much money and putting it on the, on us like what no no okay yeah so, so I, I guess they're saying that what once people started blocking lizzo and her engagement was going <laughs> and her engagement was going down they said lizzo ran to pick up that flute bitch like doo, 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 doo. <laughs> like she was the pie piper she ran and grabbed that flute like doo, 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 come back you guys let's talk about the olive branch and so basically Lizzo is asking the people to come together and put money in a pot. And so as you see in the comments, uh, people are saying Lizzo literally asking us to pay when she's worth 40 million is dystopian as fuck. Isn't Lizzo worth 44 million? She says she donated, but she could have paid it off easily, right? The cost of a Met ticket would have easily covered it. So yeah, they're on these celebrities' heads. When I tell you, and this... Let, let's keep it real. This is why they want to ban TikTok. This is why they want to ban TikTok. Because movements are actually starting on TikTok. Uh, things are actually getting done. They actually do come together to speak about, like, you know, just real topics, real issues. So, yeah, this whole trend is very, very interesting. Now, supposedly the girl who started all this foolishness would let them eat cake. She's speaking out. So we're going to go ahead and watch this video and see what the hell she has to say for herself. No, no amount of money to go to the gala, gala because I wasn't invited. invited. Since, Since I was little, I have idolized the Met. I love, love the costumes and the design, and, and it has always been one of my biggest dreams to be invited, invited to attend. After, after entering content creation, I was told that those dreams are nearly impossible if you are not in one of the inner circles of fashion. So when E reached out to me, with interest in being a pre-Met Gala host, I immediately said yes, because I just wanted to get even remotely close to it, just to like see the thing I had idolized for so long. I was at the Mark, which is on 77th Street, and the Metropolitan Museum is on 82nd Street. So that's about as close as I was allowed to get to the Met Gala. People that you saw behind me in my videos were people that were lined up outside the mark to do the exact same thing as me, which was get content with celebrities as they departed for the Met. The dress that I wore was made by hand by a friend. Okay, mark I don't care. She's boring. Next. Skedaddle.
I'm loving this movement. She got to go. This bitch. Shut the fuck up, please. All right, so we're done with that. It was too much explaining. Somebody said it was echoing, so we could just, we cut her off. Um, the point is, <laughs> they said Lizzo ran to make a statement. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So, basically, you know, I, I agree. Like, especially with the, the first gentleman who was like, you know, don't just stop at the celebrities. Also, black, these politicians and everything. Like, I've always said on this channel, the new form of currency is attention. It's likes. It's hearts. It's shares. You know, so if you really want to stand against something, if you really don't like something, then guess what? You don't watch it. You don't view it. Because everything that you do is engagement. That's why I've also said on this channel, it never made sense when you have people who start off as influencers and they blow up and all of a sudden they feel like they're better than the same people who got them to where they're at. First and foremost, you wouldn't be where you're at if it wasn't for the eyeballs of your fans and your supporters watching your content. Just like with these musicians, if it wasn't for the average fan paying two, $300 a ticket to come see you sing and perform live and buy your merch, you know, so I think like people are really starting to like kind of low key fight back and folks are like, oh, this is a waste of time. They can just buy more followers. Buying followers is not the same as engagement. Okay. You can go on people's pages and you can see who buys followers, who has bots, Vlad. Um, he has a lot of bots on his page. He doesn't really have a million followers. Most of his posts, um, he'll have three comments and it's usually somebody selling some type of herpes cream. <laughs> we have screenshots, we keep receipts, okay? So you you can tell the people who use bots. The, like the, the conversation, the topic can be about, oh, Beyonce's outfit for the Met Gala and literally in the comment section, it's, oh, you know, call this 1-800 number to fill your prescription or, oh, me and Jan went fishing this weekend. What? What does this have to do with this topic? So. Them buying bots. Somebody said he's blocked too. <laughs> Look, he tried to backtrack on that getting that black lady fired because they drug black Twitter drug his ass that whole weekend. So now he's talking about he was just trolling her. Sure, Jan. Sure. Sure, Jan. So um basically them buying more followers doesn't mean anything because that's not real engagement. These bots are not really providing real engagement. So um, I, I don't think there's anything wrong with this. I think that this is a good movement. I think that more celebrities, you know, that's why I'm burnt out at this point. Why I stopped speaking on a lot of stuff. Because it's like, I get punished for it, for talking about more deep topics, for talking about world topics. And then everybody else can just talk about bullshit and get pushed through the algorithm. You know what I'm saying? The people who talk about real things, we're punished you know, if we're talking about things to wake people up. So in order to surf, to circumvent the bullshit, I have my Discord, I have stuff from my paid members, and we talk about stuff there and we keep it pushing. You know, so yeah, you have people who have the means to speak out about a lot of things and they don't. And that's very unfortunate. So I think that let them eat cake situation, I don't care how she tries to spin it, that was very inappropriate. And especially when people are really going through it right now. If you're in a situation where you're okay financially, consider that a blessing because a lot of people are being affected. A lot of jobs, they're not hiring as much. People are getting laid off. You know, it's a lot going on out here and people need to understand. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sir, your friends and your family. It's the lovely tea TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely tea TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.